of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go to the altar of God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. I confess, God Almighty, blessed Mary, ever virgin, blessed Michael, the archangel, blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostle Peter, and Paul, of all the saints, and you, brethren, that I have sent you seen, leading in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my own fault, by my almost grievous fault. Wherefore I beg, blessed Mary, the Virgin, blessed Michael, the Archangel, blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostle, Peter, and Paul, all the saints, and you, brethren, for your praise and mercy of the Lord God. God Almighty, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto us pardon, absolution, and remission of all our sins. Amen. Well, let not turn again and quicken us, O God. We rejoice. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. O Lord, hear my prayer. And O Lord, be with you. And let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Let thy priests, O Lord, be clothed with righteousness, and let thy saints sing with joyfulness. For thy servant David's sake, turn not away the presence of thine anointed. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord, remember David in all his trouble. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world Let thy priests, O Lord, be clothed with righteousness, and let thy saints sing with joyfulness. For thy servant David's sake, turn not away the presence of thine anointing. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, on earth, peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, and God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takes away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sits at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, our most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. To beseech thee, O Lord, graciously to hear the prayers of the offering to thee on the solemnity of blessed Dunstan, thy confessor and bishop, that, like as he was found worthy to do thee faithful service, so by his merits and intercession we may be absolved from all our sins. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever, one God, world without end. Amen. The lesson from the epistle, blessed Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews. <coughs> Brethren, they were many priests because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death, while Jesus, because he continueth ever, hath an unchangeable priesthood. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. For such an high priest became us, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens, who needeth not daily, as those high priests, to offer up sacrifice, first for his own sins, and then for the people's. For this he did once, when he offered up himself, Jesus Christ our Lord. Here ended the epistle. Thanks be to God. I will deck her priests with health, and her saints shall rejoice and sing. Bear, I shall make up the horn of David to flourish. I have ordained a lantern for mine anointed. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord swear and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The continuation of the Holy Gospel, according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. 
That time, Jesus said unto his disciples, Watch, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, who his Lord hath made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, he shall make him ruler over all his goods. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise be to the Lord. Lord. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. My truth and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. Hallelujah. Great brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive this sacrifice of thy hands and for his praise glory of his name. name. To our benefit and the host of the church. Amen. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, that our devout observance of the yearly solemnity of blessed Dunstan, my confessor and bishop, may render us acceptable unto thy loving kindness, that his service of propitiation, which we do we offer, may be profitable unto him for the reward of blessedness. Name for us the gifts of thy grace. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right to the It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord. Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, who in the righteousness of thy saints have given to us an example of godly living, and in their blessedness and glorious pledge of the hope of our calling. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the Christ. Almighty and ever living God, the one of the holy apostles taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee, most mercifully, to receive these our oblations, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church of the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to Shane, our primate, and to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. 
We beseech thee also to save and defend this our country. And grant to Joseph, the President of the United States, to Kimberly, the Governor of this state, and to all others in civil authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do thy will. And we beseech thee so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, that with me guard and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to govern and succor all those who in the strength of our life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we commend unto thy merciful goodness this congregation which is here assembled in thy name, to celebrate the commemoration of the most glorious death and resurrection of thy only Son. And here we do give unto thee most high praise and hearty thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all thy saints from the beginning of the world, and chiefly in the glorious and most blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, and in the holy patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, whose examples, O Lord, the steadfastness in thy faith, and keeping thy holy commandments, grant us to follow. We command unto thy mercy, O Lord, all other thy servants, who are departed hence from us, with a sign of faith, and now do rest in the sleep of peace. To these, O Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, we beseech you to grant a place of refreshment, of light, and of peace. And by the sake of grant unto us some portion of fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs and with all thy saints, within this company we beseech thee to admit us. Therefore, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, who suffered death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself was offered, a full, perfect, and efficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again, to be seated in hear us, O merciful Father, and with thy Holy Spirit and word vouchsafe to bless and sanctify these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of thy most dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ. When the same night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had blessed and given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. <coughs> Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. <coughs> Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, who celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blood and passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us, by the same. Entirely desiring thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching me to grant that by the merits and the death of thy Son Jesus Christ and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may attain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee. 
And whosoever shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and make one body with thy Son, Jesus Christ, that he may dwell in us, and we in him. And although we are unworthy for our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept as our bounden duty and service, and command these our oblations by the ministry of thy holy angels, to be brought up into the holy tabernacle before the sight of thy divine majesty, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. As our Savior Christ hath commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Deliver us, we seek you, O Lord, from all evils, past, present, and come. And of the intercession of the blessed, glorious, and ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and that of thy blessed, blessed Apostle Peter and Paul, and of Andrew and Dunstan, and Aidan, and all thy saints, favorably grant peace in our time, that by the help of thy mercy we may be ever be kept free from sin, and safe from all disquietude. Through the same Jesus Christ, Thy Son, our Lord, who with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit liveth the reign of God, world without end. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world. Grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much that the gather of the crumbs on thee thy table. Thou art the same Lord, whose property is always for mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body and our souls washed with all the precious blood, that we may have more dwell in him than in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, the only one taketh away the sin of the world. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul.
God save to feed us who have duly received these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And thus assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members of the corporate and the mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs and hope of thy everlasting kingdom by the merits of his most precious death and the hatchet. And we humbly beseech you, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost be our honor and glory, we're over without him. Amen. Blessed is the servant who is Lord when he comes and shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, and reward us the souls of them that put their trust in thee. God say that we who keep the solemn feast of blessed Dunstan, thy confessor, our bishop, may by his prayers obtain thy merciful pardon. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who live in the reign from thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever, one God, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Depart in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to